If you're having trouble keeping up with this video, be sure to turn the playback speed down to about 0.75. And if this video helps you out, consider leaving a like and dropping a random comment like the most used emoji on your keyboard. I'll be uploading more of the Rising gameplay content, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on what's coming next. First off, head to thunderstore.io. This site has tons of mods for all kinds of games, not just V-Rising, so take a look around if you're interested. Our main focus is going to be this R2 Mod Man tool. This will automate the modding process for us. Use the manual download, unzip it, and start the setup here. You'll likely see a pretty scary warning pop up saying Windows protected your PC. This is just because it's a custom executable that doesn't have a company stamp to verify its publisher. Of course, you'll still want to be careful what mods you install with this, as with any custom executable. If this pops up, simply click more info and run anyway. If you're scared of using the mod manager because of this, I recommend checking out my manual download tutorial for mock on my channel. It'll give you the same results with just a little more work on your end. Click next, default location is fine, and install. Now that's installed, we need to find our game and create a profile. Click Create New or use the default profile here. Give it a name, then click Select Profile. Next, you'll click Online and select the mod you want. I recommend Modern Camera to give you a better camera experience, letting you even go into first-person mode. Then click Download with Dependencies and it will install everything you need. All that's left is to click the Start Modded button here. This will launch your game through Steam and that's it. Note, when playing modded, you will likely not be able to play on any of your online servers, but you can still play local and host your own server. If this video helped you out or you just want to see more V-Rising content from me, be sure to click that Subscribe button and like the video. And like I said earlier, I want to see what your most used emoji is in the comments below. And here's a V-Rising playlist for you if you just want more.